heard the lecture by Dr. Hawass in uh, San Diego, and you know, I thought we have to do this. He would have so much knowledge to pass on to us that it was, you know, just couldn't resist it. He's so knowledgeable, just takes you there. And then he gives you information about things that you don't get from other people. Things he's done, places he's been. It, it was just amazing. I was impressed by his foresight, by his vision of you know, how to save everything and how it should play out, take the camels away from the pyramids, etc. He just works on so many different levels, and that's, that's really intriguing. We felt no problems at all. It was perfectly safe. I just felt comfortable all the time. Everywhere you looked, people were smiling and waving and talking to us. More so than I expected, I think, yeah. I, I agree. You, you'd sit on the bus and they'd wave at you and you'd wave back and, and it was like they were saying, welcome, welcome, we're glad you came. The descent into Seti, the first tomb, and Meremta, they were just so beautiful. You can see hieroglyphs in magazines, but you just don't get the grandeur of the long tunnels. Even though the tunnels were a little daunting sometimes. I was probably most impressed by architecture, you know, the pyramids, being in the pyramids, um, being at Karnak, at sunrise, um, just the magnificence of it, it just blows you away. I noticed one of the other tours, and I was reading what they were doing compared to us, and much of what we did as a routine, it was an optional thing to them, so they could have easily missed these really wonderful places, but this trip was just so well planned out in every little detail. I think you gave us as much as you possibly could, <laughs> as anybody could. Oh, and one other word of advice. Lose weight before you come, because you're going to eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the food's excellent.